What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. Welcome to Q&A Mondays, I'm Thad Barnett. Today we're talking about stainless steel metal roofing. We talk a lot about galvanized galvaloon, which is our coated metal products. And uh, you know, we don't see a lot of stainless steel used uh, in roofing through commercial or residential projects, but it does happen occasionally. So we're gonna talk about that today. To help me out, I've got Josh Spence from Metal Tech Global. Thanks again for being here, Josh. All right, thank you. So tell me about stainless steel, you know, do we see this uh, product used in metal roofing um, nowadays? Kind of tell me a little bit about what it's like in the marketplace. All right, so stainless steel is definitely used in, for metal roofing. It's not as popular as other products such as zinc, copper, or uh, painted, but it is out there. Um, a lot of times you'll mainly see on commercial roofs versus residential roofs, and there's a lot of benefits on using the stainless steel for a roof application. So it's definitely out there, um, not as popular as others, but there could be some traction in the near future. Majority of the time we see stainless steel systems utilized on the facades or the wall panels and also soffit panels. Um, it's a great addition to any design. Okay, so tell me about some of those benefits. You know, why would, you know, especially commercial, why would someone want to use a stainless steel roof? Uh, mainly the strength and durability of it. Stainless steel obviously is a very strong metal roof system. Almost zero maintenance is required for it as well. So um, in all, it's going to be a very long lifespan for a roof. Um, is it something that you see architects spec? Here and there, you'll definitely see architects spec it. Um, majority of the time, you'll see them spec a painted stainless steel option. It's not very often you'll see a mill finished stainless steel roof. Okay, so what kind of finish options are there uh, for stainless steel? That's where it gets a little tricky. There's not too many people that will supply a painted stainless steel and cover a warranty. We have experience working with it in the past so we've kind of overcome some of those solutions, but um, it's minimal at best. So majority of the time, stainless steel finishes are going to be your dull 304 2B finish. Uh, one thing to definitely keep in mind is not to spec out or install a polished finish due to reflectivity. There is going to be an issue caused by that. Talk to me about cost. You know, where does stainless steel fall with other roofing materials? Well, surprisingly, stainless steel roof panels are somewhat um, cost-effective. It's definitely more cost-effective than a copper roof. Um, it costs a little more than a painted aluminum, only about 15, 20% more than a painted aluminum option. But keep in mind that is for a thinner gauge stainless steel that's mill finish. One of the things about stainless steel is that the strength of the material it makes it difficult to install or seam. So you gotta go with the thinner gauge. Okay, what gauges do you typically see stainless used in metal roofing? Typically 26 gauge. 24 is kind of pushing it, um, but typically 26 gauge. And what about environments? You know, does it matter if a stainless steel roof is installed near a coast? No, so it actually is highly beneficial to use stainless steel roofs on the coastal areas. Stainless steel is one of the strongest products. Uh, that is non-corrosive to majority of all other metal products. So um, in all, it's going to work out great. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, potential downsides of using stainless steel for roofing. So um, fabrication is one of the downsides. Because of the strength of the material, a lot of machinery won't roll form the panels. Um, fortunately, we are able to uh, roll form 24 gauge, but that's the max that we can do. So in comparison to other metals and your panel size, it's definitely one of the materials that you have limits on. And once you, you know, get those panels roll formed, you know, are there any installation requirements or kind of installation quirks when it comes to stainless? Uh, expansion and contraction. Um, so it does not expand as much as a paint aluminum or zinc or copper. So a lot of people will go ahead and set up for, you know, based on experience when the stainless steel is not going to expand to that rate. 
if stainless isn't used that much in the marketplace, you know, how difficult is it to find a contractor that can install it? Well, again, we always recommend um, any contractor to go through training if they haven't uh, previously worked with the metals. Realistically, installing a stainless steel roof is as easy as installing a painted gavel on roof. And what about the durability of stainless steel? You mentioned the strength of it. You know, how does it stand up to harsh weather conditions? Uh, extremely great. <laughs> so, uh, again, uh, the durability of it. Um, it's a strong metal. When cleated properly, it can definitely withstand high wind loads. It can withstand high impact as well. Uh, hail damage, for example, is great with stainless steel. And how does that contribute to the lifespan? You know, how long do these roofs last? You could get a, a stainless steel roof to last a lifetime, uh, without a doubt. Um, it has not been used very often or as much as other metal roofs out there. So it's somewhat new to the market. When I say new, it's within the last hundred years uh, it's been used. So, But um, a stainless steel roof can definitely last you up to 75, 80 years. And what about maintenance? Any special maintenance requirements? No. Um, so that's another benefit is very low maintenance roof system. All right. Thanks, Josh, for educating us on stainless steel metal roofing. If you have any questions that you'd like answered on Q&A Mondays, comment down below. We'd love to talk with you. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.